Welcome back with uh, another video. This time we will uh, see about cyclides and we will I will give a clear cut demo how to dry a cyclides. Right. So this and uh, it may be covered in third or second topics in engineering graphics. Let us get into that uh, topics. So cyclides are uh, coming under the category of special curves and uh, this having uh, two to three subdivisions like uh, archimedial spiral, involutes, etc. But, but we will see first attempt is cyclides. Okay, we have three types uh, cyclides, epicyclide and hypocyclide. Uh, under this topic, we will see first to two that is cyclides and epicyclide. And the third one you have to try yourself. Uh, it's nothing it's nothing but the inverse version of epicyclic it's not that much hard right anyway we will discuss and uh, most probably i will give a clear cut demo so that you will not get any confusion first we'll go with a uh, cyclide your circle of diameter t rolls on a horizontal line find it both and draw tangent and normal for it first we have to construct so we have, what are the details we have first we have a circle a diameter of d so on a horizontal line right so construct if diameter is 40 50 60 70 nothing to worry just take the diameter and draw the circle right i have taken one uh, circle and taking the diameter of d then as usual i have to divide it into number of parts if you want you can cut into 12 16 8 for my convenience i have made eight parts and then i have to give the name right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I have made. Then I have making one horizontal line where it going to be rolled. I think you are seeing that horizontal line here to here. Okay. Then we should know how long it is. We cannot simply draw a line according to our wish. There should be in some logic or some calculation. Let us check how to draw. Before that I have mentioned that what is the dimension is diameter is D. I told you if you want you can use any diameter 30 40 60 as shown in the figure so what is this length the length is nothing but pi d r 2 pi r that circumference formula so for that only we have to make this line and we have to mark it then what we have to do we have to cover like this from bottom side already made a line so top side also we have to make one horizontal line and you have to close this thing as shown in the figure then we have to draw a horizontal line from 7 1 passing through 6 2 passing through 5 3 passing through uh, right so we have a straight horizontal lines from each and every point this point contains 7 as well as 1 this line contains 6 as well as 2 this line contains 5 as well as 3 both are merging in a single attempt right? next on the bottom side we have the line so in this line we have to divide into eight number of parts because in the circle we have divided into eight numbers so we know this distance we have to divide it to eight number of parts after that you have to make vertical lines to cover up to the top right as shown in here eighth line will be here so why sir why we have to do this thing then i will explain now we have to mark the center points if the center point is available here from that also one line is coming so we have to mark the center and then you have to give the namings of the center so let us check how to give the name the assume that i given the direction because it's a circle it's going to roll like this direction only so if it is roll one will be touching here second point will be touching here third point will come here fourth point will come here so at the end eight will be the last one which is going to occupy here so that only you have to give the name like this one two three four five six seven eight center also this is center from the center also we are having lines so we are giving center point c1 c2 c3 c4 etc hope till that you have uh, no confusion then you know that this is an arc length arc length means the radius of the circle this is you take your compass with your pencil mark the distance you measure this thing later what we have to do uh, you have to put your compass c1 as a center then you have to make one arc and number seven one line because one line is passing here now this line first line you have to cut one arc give the name p1 point one 
then similarly you have to cut another arc by placing c2 as a center same arc length no need of changing any arc length if you initially you have taken correctly go ahead you cut on second similarly for third for fourth for fifth placing c5 as a center then you cut a arc on the fifth line okay then again take c6 as a horizontal center you have to cut one point at sixth one here seventh one eighth one now you have made the arc thing is you have to connect this arc you will get the path traced by the circle so there won't be any confusion for you so i given very simple method without any confusion you can follow these steps and you can make it by your own self so next one i have asked for the tangent and normal so we will go the same here with small adjustment yes coming so after uh, making the arc we have to mark any one point from the profile curve profile assume that i have taken that point right so from that what i have to do i told you we should use the arc length you should not change the same arc length you measure from that point you cut one arc okay i given the name as t you cut one arc on the center line so here it's cutting then i have to make one name then i have to make one vertical this line vertical line from here to the bottom line okay then i have to mark it then i have to connect this point ct dash to t okay not ct ct dash to t by one line so this is normal then you know that how to make the tangent by touching one single point you have to make one horizontal line that is tangent now if you want you can give the names and it will be over